So the following uh, definition of milliradian is from a textbook. And definition of the milliradian is a milliradian abbreviated mil or rad is a unit of angular measurement which is defined as one thousandths of a radian. Well, let's simplify that. So I have a graph in front of you and I have figures one through six and it explains how to create a radian. We have figure one on the top left and if we first draw a circle 360 degrees full turn. And then from there we're going to draw a radius from the center of the circle to a point on the outside of the circle in the circumference. So that's your radius. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that radius and we're going to flip it up on a 90 degree angle. Okay, so we rotate it up at 90 degrees and then we lay that down onto the circumference and then that creates what we call our arc length. And the arc length, as you can see, is creates two points and then we draw a line and then that line creates the angle. And so one radian is the angle created or subtended by the arc equal to the length of the radius of the circle. So next I'm going to show you how we get a milliradian out of a radian. So on the left hand side again we have a full circle and we have the angle at the center of the circle which is subtended or created by the arc length on the circumference of the circle between those two dots on the segment of the arc length and within that arc length there are 1,000 equal parts. On the right hand side in that rectangle that's an exaggerated blow up of taking one milliradian from one radian. So we're taking one thousandths of a radian is one milliradian. So one milliradian mil is one mil radian. So we can break the word milliradian down into milli and radian. Now we've already covered radian, so we've defined that. So let's quickly define milli. So milli is a unit prefix in the metric system that refers to a factor of one thousandths of something. Milli can be written in decimal notation as 0 0.001 or 10 to the negative third. So if we're looking at this number here, this decimal notation, 0 0.001, you can see I've written underneath deci, centi, and milli. These are the unit pl uh, placements for the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. And over to the left, I just wrote it down so you can remember that or refer back to it. Um, so one milliradian is 0 0.001 or a thousandths of a radian as we discussed earlier. And remember, one mil is always one mil, meaning that one milliradian is always one milliradian. So when we get into the calculations further, when we're calculating our distance um, using the mil dot system on the rifle scope on the reticle. Remember, one mil is 0 0.001 and it never changes. So when people refer to a mil, a mil is a mil. All right, now we're going to put it all together. So we're going to talk about the target in inches, distance to the targeting yards, and we're going to talk about what we've learned so far is the milliradians and how we apply the milliradians to the reticle on the scope and also the elevation turret on our scope. So in figure one, this is a cutout section of a standard mill dot uh, reticle. So what you're looking at is you're looking at two of the mill dots on a MRAD system um, and dot zero and dot one both have little white lines, vertical white lines that's the middle of the dot and that distance from the middle of dot zero to the middle of dot one is one mil. There is a figure or a graph down below, figure two, and this is helping uh, to explain um, the click. So the click on your elevation um, and how it relates to 
the the mill dots above. So on my raffle scope um, for my manufacturer, um, I have on the elevation turret it has one click equals 0 0.1 mil or MRAD. So check your scope out. Every scope is different depending on the manufacturer. So in relation to what I have, again, one click equals 0 0.1 mil. For each click, I'm changing um, my elevation up or down 0 0.1 mil. So if you you can see here that if you go 10 clicks, that's a full mil. And if you just do one click, then you're doing one tenth or 0 0.1 mil change. So I hope that helps explain the mil dot system as far as reading. Like you'll you'll have to there are fine ticks in certain mil dot reticle systems between the zero and the one. There'll be finer ticks or vertical lines that help out actually gauging um, each 0 0.1 mil. So let's get to the next section here. So in figure three here, I have a graphic representation of my elevation turret. And again, you're, it's showing the markings of zero to one ml. And if you move your elevation turret counterclockwise, you're moving up on your elevation. So for each click again, you're moving 0 0.1 mil. And if you go five clicks over, it's 0 0.5 ml. And if you go a full 10 clicks, then it's one mil completely. And so remember, one mil is always one mil when we're talking about a mil. So each click on my turret, each click is 0 0.1 mil. Now let's take a look at a graph and put it all together. So on the right hand side, you have a basic correlation of the mil dot radical distance to your target and the target size. So in the yellow square there, I have broken it down because we are shooting um, in yards, our distance to our target is in yards, and then the size of our target is in inches. So the empirical unit conversion is 36 inches in one yard. Uh, let's say we're at the range and we're sh shooting at a target 100 yards down range. And we can figure out basically for every one ml how many inches are we going to move the point of impact on the target? We figure that out by taking 100 yards, multiply that by 36, and we get 3,600 inches. And because one mil or milliradian is also represented by 0 0.001 or one thousandths, we multiply one thousandths times 3,600 inches, or we can simply just move the decimal place over three spaces in the 3,600. Uh, numerical value there and we get 3.6 inches. Now if you wanted to find out at 100 yards and 1 mil 100 yards would be 3.6 inches but on your elevation turret what is one click? And so one click at 100 yards would be you say okay one click on my turret is 0 0.1 so you multiply 0 0.1 times 3.6 inches and you'll get for each one click on your turret it's 0 0.36 inches or almost a third of an inch and then um, you can do the same thing for 200 yards but look at that you want to make sure that you're not going like one mil at 200 yards two mil at 200 yards a mil is always a mil no matter what. So you're always going to use one mil at 100 yards, one mil at 200, one mil at 300, and so forth. Um, and then you can do the same uh, math calculations for 200 yards, and you will get 7.2 inches. And again, you just do the calculation for each click at 200 yards on your elevation turret, um, 0 0.1 per click. So you're going to multiply 0 0.1 ml times 7.2 inches and that's going to equal 0 0.72 inches um, for each click on your turret. And so this just keeps going up even at one mil at a thousand yards. 
it is 36 inches. Now you can also use meters, so um, you're not restricted to yards. It always de it always depends on basically what you're using. Um, so I hope this helps out. Uh, you understand this. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, list those down below. And thanks for watching.